meteorologist Allison Sinchar tracking the storm from the CNN Weather Center. Allison, a new update, and it's a big one. Yes, actually, and it's very rare for them to issue updates at 12. Usually the updates come out at 11 and 2 o'clock, so this is, the, it's as important. And the reason they're doing this is they want you to know that it has now increased to the next category. At 11 o'clock, we were a Category 3. We are now up to a Category 4 storm. Winds sustained are 130 miles per hour with this storm, gusting up to 140. The other thing to note is the eye is really starting to come into play, where you can really see it visible on those satellite images. Now, the thing is, we expect it to maintain that strong strength for the next several days as it approaches the U.S. Right now, Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina are still all at play for an actual landfall Thursday or Friday. The reason we give two days on that is because the models are kind of torn as to exactly when landfall is expected. The blue model here, that's the European, really wants to make landfall sometime Thursday afternoon. But the red dot, that's the American model, holds it off until early Friday morning. So really, it could be anywhere within, say, Thursday at noon to Friday at noon for the actual landfall. The main concern going forward is the tremendous amount of rain. Because once it makes landfall, it's expected to just sit in place. So it will have a lot of time to dump a tremendous amount of rain. Both models, both the European and the American, can show this white and purple that shows 10 to 20 inches. The difference, John, is where the European model pushing it a little further inland, the American model right along the coastline. So we'll obviously have to keep a close eye on this in the coming days. And Allison, take us through. You mentioned how rare it is to get an update at 11 o'clock. They said cat three. Then they give a rare noon update that says cat four. What does that tell us a about the strength of the storm and b about the amount of water, which is, of course, what you worry about most? I think the point of them doing it was to tell people to start to prepare. If you live in any of those states, start preparing now. Don't wait until Wednesday to do it. Allison, appreciate that. And it's important. A lot of people say, why are you telling me about this on a Monday when I don't have to worry about it Thursday or Friday? Allison makes the key point right there. Prepare now while you can. Keep in touch. We'll keep tracking this from the Weather Center. Allison, we really appreciate that. Turning now.